up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is David uh, I want to talk about a little bit about what's going to be going on today uh, we're going out to Seawolf Park to fish for some bulls uh, do a little bit of night fishing so night fishing for some bull reds is my favorite type of fishing uh, simply because you know you get out and you get to relax a little bit you know it's a little bit more uh, slower paced and you know a little bit more exciting um, so the reason why I haven't posted any videos lately is because, you know, with this whole pandemic that's been going on, I haven't really been able to hit the water. And, uh, well, not as much as I would like. I have came out a little bit, you know, I did a little bit of, uh, jetty fishing, but the problem was that, you know, I couldn't, my, my camera was giving issues. Like whenever I would catch something, uh, either the camera would shut off or the batteries would run out. So hopefully tonight, you know, everything works out pretty good. <clears throat> Should be pretty um, uh, slow paced and uh, conditions look pretty good today. So we'll see you out there in the water. Just cast it on my two rods. Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. I want to go ahead and get it out of the way and apologize for the video quality and the no sound. The no sound, I'm already waiting for a microphone. I tried using the mic from the actual camera, but since there is a lot of wind, there is a lot of interference and you can barely hear anything I say. And as far as the video quality, you know, I actually need a whole lot more lighting out there it looked pretty good but once I actually got home and looked at it it came out pretty dark so I apologize on that so here we are at Seawolf fishing for some bull reds my favorite type of fishing when I fish for bull reds I use two 10 foot rods one is a casting rod for a conventional reel and the other one is a spin here he had just caught a stingray and we were trying to figure out a way to take the hook off its mouth without having to cut the tail off you know there's a lot of people out there that they'll cut the tail off and throw them back in the water but the problem about that is you're actually making them very vulnerable I've heard that these stingrays are good bait for sharks I don't really do any shark fishing but Maybe one day I'll give it a try. So what he ended up doing is he actually stepped on the tail. That way, you know, he's not flopping around and swinging that tail around. And after fighting him for a while, he, he was able to take the hook off and we released him back on the water and nobody got stung. I've heard that when they sting you, it really, really hurts. So... We didn't want to experience that firsthand. He made it look pretty easy, but we were there for quite a while because, again, we were just worried about that tail. And here he's about to chunk him back in the water. So earlier, see here, I actually reeled in one of my rigs because when I first got there, I cast it out. And this boat was passing by very, very close. So he was able to grab it and I actually ended up breaking off. I was pretty mad. So I am going to be fishing more often now. Um, and I will try to post a video at least once a month. I'm hoping 
twice a month. It's just depending. I don't want to post a whole bunch of boring videos. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate the love, guys. Yeah.